stand in your presence, singing holy is your name, singing holy is your name, oh Lord. Singing holy is your name, singing holy is your name, oh Lord. Lord, I stand in your presence, singing holy is your name, singing holy is your name, oh Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, saints of the Most High God. Welcome to the second Sunday of the month of April, our month of breaking new grounds. Lift your voice to the Lord God Most High in praise and in thanksgiving for preservation of life. Hallelujah. For protection of life. Hallelujah. For provision. Give God the praise, hallelujah, glory be to Jesus, the Son of the living God. Clap your hands, stamp your feet, move if you have room to pray and celebrate the mercies and the faithfulness of God. Our God is kind, our God is gracious, our God is merciful. Thank God, thank God, thank God, glory to God. And wonderful Resurrection Sunday to all saints of God all over the world. Wherever you're watching me from, we celebrate today as a point of contact that if Jesus, if death could not hold him down captive, no plan, no works of the wicked against you shall prosper. He died and on the third day he came out. He resurrected victory over the powers and the works of darkness. And he declared, behold, I give unto you all powers in heaven and on earth. Le kaba ase kubina angre dilika va kushki pine egela avo bondilia riko tebeni ma azalo tebina anda makuva ikadendi mi wahadia by the significance of this wonderful day, the resurrection Sunday morning, I decree whatever good the wicked has killed in your life, let it resurrect now in the name of Jesus Christ. My in Jesus' mighty name we pray. I feel strongly led in my spirit that before the world, we should take a few minutes and pray against dark spirits. Dark spirits that are illegally occupying territories and bodies around us. Glory be to Jesus. The truth is, friends, spirits are not allowed to operate on this earth without a human body or without a body. Some of them use animal body because the earth is given to the sons and the daughters of men. So for any spirit to operate on earth, they look for a vessel, they look for a body to use to be able to operate. That is why there is no neutrality in the spirit. It's either the spirit of God is operating in you or the spirit of the devil. Glory be to Jesus. And I'm led by the spirit of the living God. Some of us are suffering as a result of this. There are people around us who the spirit of hell, of darkness is operating through to carry out certain wicked assignment around you. 
from this day in the mighty name of Jesus we decree that those who do not want to repent that the Lord expose them and disgrace them and those whose heart are in for repentance may the mercy of God locate them and if there be any of our loved ones who ignorantly the spirit of darkness is operating in them in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of God we arrest the spirits and we decree and declare their deliverances in the name of Jesus Christ God rescue your son now. God rescue your daughter now. God deliver your husband, your wife. God deliver that man, that woman around you whom the enemy is been using against you without his or her knowledge. In the name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke these dark spirits of hell in Jesus' mighty name. If God said we should pray against it, then God has a reason why. Glory be to Jesus. I strongly believe that spirits have accommodation problem here on earth especially dark spirits they have vancasy pro vancasy problem so they are looking for vessels they are looking for vessels they are looking for vessels that is why it is dangerous to be spiritually empty because a strange spirit a dark spirit can take advantage of your spiritual emptiness and begin to carry out satanic agenda it will not be so for your loved ones it will not be so for those around you anything around you the territory around you that any form of dark spirit is manifesting or operating we command them to be expelled in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god there is a lady called joy the lord said things are turning around for you now for the better those whom the enemy the wicked is being using to cause hanaki and havoc around you the lord has uprooted them out of your life so celebrate the goodness of god because victory has come to you in the mighty name of jesus christ the son of the living god i pray for those halika vahandia in those in a particular community where there is about to be a natural disaster i pray that god rescue you and your loved ones i pray that god protect you and your loved ones in the name of jesus christ please when you see the acts of god share your testimony let us know what god jehovah has done for you in the name of jesus christ the son of god look at matthew chapter 12 matthew chapter 12 verse 43 to 45 glory be to god so spiritual emptiness is very dangerous hallelujah praise the lord matthew 12 verse 43 look at this when an evil spirit leaves a person so they can leave and that is why today anyone around you that is being harassed tormented or possessed by an evil spirit the Bible says he sent forth his word. The word that he sent healed them and delivered them from their destruction. By the sent word of God, I decree now the deliverance of your loved ones from that strange dark spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, every spirit confronting your breakthrough, confronting your your financial blessing confronting your promotion i decree that their plot against you is destroyed now in jesus mighty name when an evil spirit leaves a person it goes into the desert seeking rest but finding none so you see spirits have accommodation problem they cannot operate they are not allowed to operate on earth without a body because legally only man woman born out of the womb of a woman is allowed to operate in this world legally by god so there are many agents of satan around us whom the wicked is using to carry out his wicked activity against our breakthrough and breaking of new grounds so as we pray these prayers this morning afternoon evening depending on where we are watching me from i believe that god will intervene and if there be any such individuals the hand of god will expose them and deliver you from them in jesus mighty name look at verse 44 we're going to 45 then it says the spirit says i will return to the person i came from so it returns and find its former home empty swept and in order 
spiritual emptiness is dangerous. And this scripture specifically is for those who do not know God, who do not have Jesus as their Lord and their personal Savior. Because if you are born again, you cannot be possessed by dark spirit. Because light and darkness cannot dwell in the same body. A child of God cannot be possessed, but can be oppressed. Possession is to take charge of a body. Oppress is to cause certain anarchy around the person and that happened out of ignorance. For my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. So if there be any manifestation of dark spirits using anyone around you to cause any form of challenge that is not programmed to be part of your journey on earth, by the eternal name of Jesus, they are arrested, 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 they are arrested. I decree victory for you by the blood of Jesus Christ. Verse 45. Glory to God. Then the spirit finds seven other spirits more evil than itself. And they all enter the person and live there. That is why it's possible. People ask me most times after maybe the school of deliverance and healing, why is it that people who are delivered sometimes come back again with the same challenges and problems? If they go back and do not live right and do not keep their faith in Christ and their service in God, it's possible for those spirits to come back because they we go around looking for accommodation and it's hard for them to find because like I said, spirits have accommodation problem on earth and they come back from where they have been cast out from and they find that man or woman is not committed and rooted in God, the Bible said they will come back with seven more wicked spirits. And that's why most times such people, their situation become even worse than it was before. But God forbid, if you are listening to me or you are privileged to be watching me, and you have been for one freedom, I mean for one deliverance or the other, please keep yourself loaded with the word of God, committed to listening to God's word and faithfully fellowshipping and serving God. Spiritual emptiness is dangerous. Emptiness attracts Satan. That is why you must not allow yourself to be empty. Satan comes to homes that are empty. But thank God when you have Jesus in you, every time the enemy come close, it is the glory of God that answers the forces of darkness that come around you and they cannot stand because the light shines in darkness and darkness cannot comprehend the light. Open your hands, friends. Say by the blood of Jesus. Say by the blood of Jesus and the word of God, I declare my mind, my spirit, my soul is protected in the name of Jesus Christ. Please pray for yourself. Say by the blood of Jesus and by the word of God, I declare my mind, my spirit, my soul is protected in the name of Jesus Christ. Clap your hands and open your mouth and pray. We need to pray this prayer first before we begin to rebuke this strange dark spirit. I declare in the name of Jesus, by the internal blood of Jesus Christ, my mind, my spirit, my soul is protected. Pray this prayer for everyone and anyone around you. By the internal blood of Jesus, in Jesus mighty name the devil is a good salesman see how he marketed Delilah to Samson see how he marketed the forbidden fruit to if and to Adam I stand on the authority of the word of God because that is the only way you can exercise victory over the wicked you need to know like I said the Bible says in Isaiah 5 and verse 13 my people are gone into captivity because they lack knowledge the lack of knowledge is where Satan hides and operates against children of God the wisdom of God comes by the knowledge of God you will not be a victim 
of anything that the wicked is selling henceforth in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God that is why the Bible says you must take heed to what you hear censors what you allow into your ears into your heart and into your spirit because it might be the devil selling his ideas to you but you will not be a victim because you are more than a conqueror more than a conqueror in Jesus mighty name James chapter 1 verse 14 to 15 James chapter 1 verse 14 to 15 and every time Satan wants to sell something to you he sells something to you that he knows has to do with your weakness hallelujah it is easy to reject what you don't like so he uses what you like to tempt you and to sell his deception to you but as we pray God from this day continue to grant you victory over every desire of the wicked that will be presented around you in Jesus mighty name temptation comes from our own desires so when the devil wants to entice you he entices you with something that he knows that you desire which entice us and drag us away look at verse 15 glory be to god these desires give birth to sinful action through these desires the enemy takes his opportunity to sell his deception and then to oppress and when sin is allowed to grow it gives birth to death you will not be a victim of premature death your children will not be victims of premature death no good thing around you will die in the name of Jesus Christ you will live long and fulfill the purpose of God for your life in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of God open your hands say by the internal blood of Jesus Christ because the Bible said they overcame him the wicked Satan by the blood of the land uh, by the blood of the lamp and by the words of their testimony say by the internal blood of Jesus I overrule every demonic plot to make me a victim of dark spirits in the name of Jesus I overrule it I overrule it I overrule it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Pray that prayer for your loved ones. Pray it for your loved ones. Nepo kote pelea ikafuli bina angretili kuli biwa hasa. Lande lege de lebo koshi kataya la furi bina ana. Le satuli bina angali kra tuli biwa hasekra. Le sakonde beke dia. Moshu kupa la akatuli bina angreteli fuwa hasa. In Jesus mighty name. Say by the eternal blood of Jesus, I expel. I expel every presence of the wicked, every presence of dark spirit around my environment, around my vicinity, around my habitation. In the name of Jesus, I expel them. Clap your hands and pray. In in obedience to the Spirit of God. Marco tole bene e zekredia lu supala angadina azu pregeti le zeko toba na angadina wahasa le shukronde libina haza in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that terrible ulcer on the leg that wouldn't heal by the power in the name of Jesus receive your healing now in Jesus name that swollen tumor in the stomach in the name of Jesus receive your healing now in Jesus mighty name amen hallelujah open your hands say every legal access the wicked has over me and my environment I close it now please friends <laughs> that legal access could be a person could be a mistake or an error you've made one time or the other but the blood of Jesus is the seal to every strange opening in the mighty name of Jesus which the enemy has been using to cause any form of oppression say in the mighty name of Jesus every legal access the wicked has over my life over my business over my family over my marriage over my children I close it now by the blood of Jesus I seal it I seal it up by the internal blood of Jesus Christ. Le protoko bade kasi kuti bina mi kavala hazagredia. Le shikadala bahangro tini mi wahasi. 
les azombali ikana anda kuli bina wahasia les prende legeti bima les sokubinia ragata da bolege de nimi wahakra dolipi wahasanta mata wahaka in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God say every appointment with the spirit of untimely dead this month around me I cancel it I cancel it in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I cancel it please pray child of God clap your hands stamp your feet Recondele beke dina akuva la hazi. Rade gata likulipi wa hazakadia. I cancel it. That accident. I cancel it. Lisokro tole bina aza. Mako tole bine osupre dia. Masala hagalaba hasupre dia. In Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Say any strange dark spirit. Tormenting anyone around me. I decree in the name of Jesus be arrested and leave in the name of Jesus you have the authority in your mouth open your mouth and pray le paka saka talaba le futi pina regoto le benekasia e goto benekasukletia e fa pandelia regoto nimi bahase ketili kuwahasa e franda la vovo de ket likuti bia na sacro dilibi wahasa anyone with any form of mental challenge receive your deliverance now receive your deliverance now receive your deliverance now in the name of jesus you who is tormented with the spirit of fear of death and of losing everything the lord rescue you now for god has not given us the spirit of fear but of love and of sound mind i decree your freedom now in Jesus mighty name glory to God celebrate your God what a faithful God glory be to Jesus in Jesus mighty name glory to God sense of God breaking new grounds taking new territories advancing making progress is God's desire for his children anything that has to do with your forward movement like I've said before it is God's desire for his children no parent wishes backwardness for their children the Almighty God the loving merciful God cannot wish backwardness for his own children glory be to Jesus Christ so breaking new grounds is God's desire for every child of his Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 6 to 8 Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 6 to 8 thank God for what you have done thank God for what you are doing in your life right now but friends hear me well there are new grounds to break I challenge you in the name of Jesus in this month of breaking new ground it is God's desire for us as his children to break new grounds for his honor and for his glory thank God for all you have done and thank God for what you are doing but I speak to you by the Spirit of God there are new grounds for you to break more in politics in business in ministry and so shall it be for you in the mighty name of jesus christ remember the bible said while we are waiting for the lord to come we should occupy till he come keep breaking ground for the glory of god till when the lord will come take us home look at this deuteronomy chapter 1 from verse 6 to 8 when we were at mount sinai the lord our god said to us he is the same yesterday today and forever he's the god of new things even his mercies the bible said they are new every morning hallelujah you have stayed at this mountain long enough what position have you been long enough i am standing on the word of god as i speak to you i speak to myself i speak to every man and woman of god under the influence of my voice time to break new ground has come and the grace of god will make it happen for you 
in Jesus mighty name verse 7 glory to God look at this it is time Kapala Akavole Ekranda Libahadia it is time to break camps it is time to break new grounds this is the word of the Lord stagnation is not God's will for his children it's time to break new camps and move on go to the hill country of the Amorites and to all the neighboring regions the Jordan Valley the hill country the western foothill the Nebgat and the coast plain go to the land of the Canaanites and to Lebanon and to all the way to great Ephorites river look at verse 8 glory to God look I am giving all I am giving all this to you I declare by the power in the name of Jesus in that area of business in that area of ministry that you function in may the Lord give you more may the Lord give you more May the Lord give you more. May the Lord give you more. In this month of breaking new grounds, grace to break new grounds spiritually, grace to break new grounds financially, grace to break new grounds materially, materially. receive it. New ideas for strange exploits that will bring honor to the kingdom and humil humiliation to darkness, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it for you and your children in Jesus' mighty name look i am giving all this land to you go in and occupy it yes we are waiting for the coming of our lord and savior jesus christ but while waiting he says occupy make yourself relevant to my honor and to the disgrace and humiliation of darkness be useful to god and to his kingdom for it is the land the Lord swore to give to your ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and to all their descendants. Yes, he's the God who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. But he's the God of new things. I believe that by faith this month and the rest of this year, if Jesus started and the years ahead of you, new things begin to happen for you and for your children no more retrogression no more backwardness no more stagnation if you believe a child of god shout that amen three times amen 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 receive it in jesus mighty name friends in order to be relevant to god and ourselves we must embrace godly change if you don't embrace godly change remember change is the only constant thing if you don't embrace godly change you will soon become irrelevant i see god causing strange supernatural breakthrough for everyone under the influence of my voice in your area or field of career in the mighty name of jesus christ the son of the living god friends there are new grounds to be broken and god is saying arise and break these new grounds there are new grounds to be broken and god jehovah is saying arise and break this new ground for you and for your children in jesus name matthew chapter 9 and verse 17. i said last week in our prayers what used to walk no longer walk in every season life experience as shifting things changes there are new ways of getting things done now friends if you say i want to be remain the way it used to be yesterday well, then you are left behind the wall has left you behind but you change for the glory of god that is why i said we must embrace godly change remember i said last week the days we live in is referred to as the end time and one of the signs of the end time is new things happen every now and then positive and negative we as children of god should embrace the positive ones and change for the honor and the glory of god to remain useful to god and to his kingdom matthew 9 17 and no one puts new wine into old wine skin friends arise and break new ground says the lord for the old skin will burst from the pressure spilling the wine and running the skin new wine is stored in new wine skin so that both are
preserve. Do you want to be preserved in the days and time that we live in? Do you want to be useful in the days and time that we live in? Be willing to change. Godly wise, for the honor and for the glory of God. Your knees are experiencing strange pains and challenges. Jehovah God is healing you right now in Jesus' mighty name. From this scripture, it is clear you can break a ground that is already broken. You must go break a fallow ground. To break a new ground, it means it's a ground that has not been touched or has not been broken before. So get ready. God is about to use you to do what nobody in your family, in your community has been able to do before. Not for your self-glorification, but for the honor and the glory of God. God is about to take your business, your career to heights that no one in your lineage, I say it by the Spirit of God, has been able to obtain to before in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To break new grounds, it has to be a fallow ground, a ground that has not been tempered or go into before. So what is a fallow ground? It's very important you write this down. A fallow ground is a new ground. So get ready by the Spirit of God to begin to do new things. What is a fallow ground? A fallow ground is an uncultivated, untouched ground. So God is going to take you to areas you have never entered before. Some of you listening to me, it has nothing to do with what you are trained for in school. It has nothing to do with what you have been doing before. God is about to open doors for you in areas of businesses that you have no idea of anything about. But by the mercies of God, for his glory and for his kingdom, he's taking you into it. Receive it. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What is a fallow ground? A fallow ground is a virgin land that has never been ventured into. A pakuti binahandia. Ideas will come to you that will move you forward. Inspiration will come to you in the season of the night that you wake up in the morning and just putting it down will take you 10 steps higher than where you are right now. If you believe it, say Amen. Please walk with the Spirit of God and you will experience breaking new grounds every day for the rest of your life till Jesus come in Jesus' mighty name. What is a fallow ground? A fallow ground is a land that could be productive, but for whatsoever reason has not been broken and be prepared for planting. And that is why God is going to use you to make it happen in your family, in Jesus' mighty name. Isaiah 54, verse 2 to 3. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 2 to 3. Let the old give way for the new. It's your season of breaking forth lift your two hands say it is my season of breaking forth spiritually it is my season of breaking forth as much as you desire to break new ground in your finances and your career desire to break new ground in your spiritual life get to points in god you have never gotten to before and do things for god and walk with god in a manner you have never before to the glory of god aspire for it and see God make happen even the material things you desire in Jesus name look at this Isaiah 54 verse 2 to 3 enlarge your house break new grounds build an addition break new ground this God is saying I desire it for you the point is do you desire it for yourself if you don't it's okay it's okay friends if you don't God can make happen in your life what you do not desire because what you desire is what you deserve. As much as God wants it for you, do you want it for yourself? Amen, somebody. Because God is saying, this is what I desire for you. Enlarge your house. Enlarge your business. Enlarge what I have put in your hand as an assignment. Enlarge the commitment I have given to you to do for my kingdom. Build an addition. Spread out your home. Spare no expense. When you are doing it, do it because you know that the Lord God is able to make it happen. Remember, it is unto him, not unto you, that is able to do exceedingly more abundantly that you, than you ask or think of him. Glory to God. Look at verse 3. Hallelujah. 
for you will soon be bursting at the seams. Your descendant will occupy other nations and resettle the ruined cities. Get ready. God is about to lead you. God is about to guide you to what nobody, if Ulima as a S, has ever done around you before. I say it again, in the name of Jesus. This is a prophecy for someone watching me. I don't know where you are watching me from around the world, but hear the word of the Lord. God is about to guide you. God is about to lead you. God is about to make you do what nobody around you has ever done before. Do you know God can use one person to cause a change in a village, in a community, and a nation? One person. See what he says in Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 8. God used one person, Jacob, and lighting up the, the whole nation of Israel. Glory to God. The Lord has spoken out against Jacob. His judgment has fallen upon Israel. Look at the King James Version of it. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The Lord sent a word into Jacob and it has lightened upon Israel. So what God will do in one life will lighten up an entire nation, an entire community, an entire family, an entire village. If you think you are that person, receive it, receive it, receive it in the name of Jesus. Every growth in your bladder be healed right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As I begin to round up this message this day, why does God desire us to break new grounds? Because the word is made it so clear, it's established that it is the desire of our Father to take new territories, to break new grounds, to enjoy advancement and to make progress. Why does God desire us to break new grounds? Number one, it is God's joy to see us break new grounds and taking over territories. Just as it is the joy of every parent to see their children do great and to advance in life. There is no parent watching me or listening to me who does not take delight in the breakthrough of their children. That is the number one reason why God desire us to break new ground. He is excited. He is delighted when he sees us as his children breaking forth, doing well by the right, by the left, to the glory of his name. Remember the Bible says you are like a light set upon a hill that cannot be hidden. Let men see your light so that they can give glory and honor to your father which is in heaven. Hallelujah. May you from this day continue to bring glory and honor to God in Jesus name mighty name number two why god desire us breaking new ground times and season changes things are no longer the same they used to be seasons and time change and that is why i said we must embrace godly change if you do not change with the season but in a godly manner you will become obsolete and irrelevant may that not be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mark chapter 2 and verse 22. Mark chapter 2 and verse 22. Glory be to God. And no one puts new wine into old wine skin. For the wine will burst the wine skin. And the wine and the skin will both be lost. New wine calls for new wine skin. Every time a season change, it's time for new things. If you still want to do new things according to the old season, this is what will happen to you. As this scripture has just explained, new wine calls for new wine skin. Please underline the last sentence there. New wine calls for new wine skin. We must embrace new godly changes. We must desire it. In the ministry, like I said last Sunday, a shifting has happened. In the world we live in, a shifting has happened. If your eyes are not open in the spirit and you are not sensitive, you will be left behind. Move as the cloud moves, but to God's glory and God's honor in Jesus' mighty name. Number three, new things excite. 
breaking new grounds bring joy and excitement new position new car new house it brings excitement and i want to believe god with you in the name that is above every name the name of jesus from this day may new things begin to happen for your children may new things begin to happen for you may new things begin to happen for your ministry in the mighty name of Jesus. May new things begin to happen for your business. Psalm 126 verse 1 to 3. Psalm 126 verse 1 to 3. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When the Lord brought back his exiles to Jerusalem, it was like a dream. Verse 2. We were filled with laughter and we sang for joy. And the other nations say, what amazing thing that will be what they will be saying about you and your children from today. What amazing things the Lord has done for them. Look at verse 3. Glory to God. Yes, the Lord has done amazing things for us. What joy. So when things are done, it brings joy. When amazing things happen, it brings celebration. It brings joy. So new things excite. And it's God's will for us to be joyful. It's God's will for us to be happy. So therefore, I decree in the name of Jesus, may amazing things be happening to you from this day. In Jesus' mighty name. Number four, breaking new grounds, Grow your faith in God. When new things happen, when you see amazing things happen all the time, when you see yourself breaking new ground, it grows your faith. It makes you get stronger in faith that if God can do this, he can do it again and again and again. And not just for you, when you break new ground, that testimony of you breaking new grounds, we provoke the faith of others and strengthen their faith to believe God that it can also be done for them. So breaking new grounds, grow your faith. Number five, breaking new grounds, showcase you as a living testimony to the world second corinthians chapter 3 and verse 2 and matthew 5 verse 16 glory to god the only letter of recommendation we need is you yourself friends that is why the way you live your life the way you talk, the way you carry yourself, and the things that happen to you and around you should bring honor and glory to God. Because the people around you who do not know God have not seen God before. You are the God that they see and they look at. So if your life does not speak of the goodness and the testimony of God in your words and your deeds, it will repel them from going to church. May you be a living testimony to the honor and to the glory of God. He said, your lives are a letter written in our hearts. Everyone can read it and recognize our good works among you. Child of God, that is why we should live what we preach and what we hear. And by the grace of God, that the goodness of God continue to be reflective in our lives to God's glory and honor. So breaking new grounds showcase us as a testimony to the glory of God. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 16. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 16. As we begin to pray. Look at these friends. Let's read it together. Believe God for it. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see. So that everyone will do what? will praise your heavenly father so you breaking new grounds is not for your glory god giving you that job in millions and billions is not for your glory god blessing your children with great careers is not for their glory or your glory it is to bring glory and honor to your heavenly father thank god god is doing it for you and god is doing it through you Thank God for it and return the glory to him. When men look at you and say, well done, say, to God be the glory. It is for his honor and for his praise. So breaking new ground showcase you 
as a living testimony to the glory of God. That people will say, do you know she's a Christian? That millionaire, she's a Christian. That millionaire is a Christian. That preacher, that anointed blessed man, woman, is a child of God. This is what our Father desires for us. Do you desire it for yourself? Breaking new grounds. Friends, is God's will for his children. Open your hands. Kabalahaza. Nekubene ekre denimi wahaza. One prayers. Say, in the name of Jesus, I am taking over. I am breaking new grounds. Now mention the areas you desire to break new grounds and turn it to prayer. Prayer in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I am taking over. I am taking over in my area of calling, in my assignment, in the brother given to me by God. I am breaking new grounds from cities to cities, from nations to nations, from one continent to the other continent, to the glory and the honor of God. As I declare it, so shall it be. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Son of the living God. As your mouth has said it, so shall it be for you in Jesus' mighty name. If you have not given your life to Christ, I'd like you to do so. For us as Christians and as believers, our breaking of new grounds begins with our relationship with God. We must first of all break new grounds in our spiritual life. That is God's wish for us. God says, I desire that you prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospereth." Please say with me, Lord Jesus, come into my heart as my Lord and my personal Savior. Forgive me my sins. I surrender my life to you. Thank you, Father for saving me. You've prayed that prayer, congratulations. You are saved and washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. If you have any form of sickness in any part of your body, lay your hands there. By the eternal name of Jesus, it is written, Him Himself took our infirmity and bore our diseases. I decree by the, by the mercy of God, by His stripes, you are healed, you are healed, you are healed in Jesus mighty name glory be to god sense of god grace to break new ground has come upon you go therefore and break new grounds spiritually materially financially academically in the mighty name of jesus christ next sunday we're going to be looking at steps to take to break new ground and please join me in sharing the word of god be a tool to share the word of God break new grounds as well in sharing God's word and God will continue to enlarge your tent in Jesus name God bless you